Welcome back everybody. Today's video is going to be on 9mm Luger. I'm going to go over the steps and the process of reloading from a spent piece of brass, spent primer, it's been polished in the tumbler and we're going to take it from an empty cartridge we're going to reload it till we have our finished product. Uh, today I'm going to be using a 115 grain round nose. These are Barry's bullets. You can get them pretty cheap if you buy them in bulk. I got S&B primers. These primers work great guys. They're uh, a little cheaper than CCI or Winchester primers, but I've never had one fail to fire. So save close to 10 bucks and still get a whole brick of primers. So. Then as I've stated in other videos, I use Universal for my pistol loads for 9, 40, and 45 and it works great in all of them. A lot of people have complaints with the Universal that it's real dirty powder. Well, if you actually burn a decently warm to hot charge, then it'll actually burn off all that powder and it won't be so dirty. So I'm using mixed head stamp brass, just once fired brass, and I'm going to run the first piece of brass through slow to try to explain the steps to you guys. And then I'll run, them, run a few rounds in a little quicker just to show you how it gets going. So before we get to reloading, I want to go ahead and give you guys a good rundown on my die setup here. In my first stage... I have my resize decapping die. My second stage, I have my expander. My third stage, it's going to go into my powder charger. My fourth stage, it has my bullet seeder die. And then my fifth and last stage is my factory crimp die. So now let's go ahead and get ready to start loading and get this show on the road. Alright, so anytime you're reloading, you start out with a spent piece of brass, a spent primer, no powder, no bullet, nothing. Drop that in your first stage. Now, like I said before, my first stage is resize and D-prime. So, at this point, the primer is gone out of it. I knocked it out. The brass is now resized and it will fit in the chamber now. Now it has a new primer. After you got your new primer set up, you hit the expander ball. Now I've tried to show the camera this before and it didn't work so great, but now that it's expanded, the reason you use that expander ball is so it will allow the bullet to get pressed into the brass Especially with these plated bullets like this right here, you'll if you don't have it expanded, it'll rip the plating right off the side of the bullet. But as you can see, let me show you a piece of brass that isn't expanded here. So this piece isn't expanded, and it don't really set on. It'll kind of fall over if you really just barely touch it, but it don't set in there really. And you have your belt out case. 
and it'll set right in there. I can probably turn it upside down. Yeah, and it won't even fall out. So that just makes it easier and it keeps you from risking knocking the plating off the bullet with your belt out case. It makes it easier to receive a bullet, that's all it is. Now we're getting a charge of 4.8 grains of universal. So now we have our powder charge. Next thing is to come up and hit the bullet seating die. Now it has a bullet in it. And this bullet seating die, even though it's just a seating die, it actually pushes it in just enough to where you could probably get away without ever using your factory crimp die, but you got it, so you might as well use it just to be sure. And that's the finished product. Nine millimeter Luger, 115 grain round nose with Barry's bullets. So at this point I'm gonna go ahead and load up a few rounds kinda quick and show y'all how the process gets going once you get flowing a little bit. Nine millimeter to me is one of the fastest and easiest rounds because it's just not very particular at all. It'll pretty much just take it however you give it to it. This is good until we run out of primers. It shouldn't be but a couple more rounds. Nine millimeter isn't very finicky at all. It'll it'll shoot pretty good with a lot of different ranges of loads. And it's not super picky about bullets or anything like that either. There we go. Go ahead and run these last few out. And there you have it. That's finished product. You can see how once you get going, it's pretty smooth. Either way, even without a bullet feeder or a case feeder, it's still way faster than single stage. So, well, that's nine millimeter start to finish, and all the steps in between. Hopefully I helped some of you guys or y'all are just watching because it's entertaining, but any day reloading is better than a good day at work. Until next time, guys.